In this video, I'll go over upgrading a Synology NAS running DSM-6 to DSM-7 directly from the DSM-6 Update and Restore control panel. This is an update to the video I released earlier where I walk through upgrading my Synology DS920 Plus to DSM-7. In that video, the only way to upgrade to DSM-7 was by downloading the appropriate patch file for your Synology NAS from the Synology Download Center and manually doing an upgrade. Since then, upgrading to DSM-7 is now available within the Update and Restore Control Panel in DSM-6.2, as I found when I was looking to upgrade my DS-718+. I'm assuming this direct upgrade path was made available on or soon after Synology updated the release notes for DSM-7 on July 19, 2021, but I can't confirm that fact. The version of DSM-7 is still 7.0-41890, with Synology providing fixes to issues with SAN Manager, Active Insight, and the SMB service with the July 19th update. I'll leave a link to the updated release notes for DSM-7 in the description below if you would like to read up on it further. In any case, upgrading to DSM-7 from within the Update and Restore control panel is now available, and the remainder of this video is me going through the steps of doing the upgrade on my DS718+. Plus. Here, I'm already in the Update and Restore control panel, and we see that there is a DSM-7 banner that provides a link to learn what's new and a button to download DSM-7. I selected Download, and after the download was completed, the button label changed to Upgrade. From this point on, the upgrade was the same as the manual process. I needed to check the box to agree on updating the system and click Next, and then Yes on this window to continue. The process took round about 10 minutes to upgrade to DSM-7 along with updating the installed packages before I was back at the sign-in screen. Overall, I had no issues with the upgrade process and everything looks to be working fine on my DS-718+. The only package that needed to be manually upgraded was Virtual Machine Manager, which required me to do the update from the package center. Hopefully, if you've been waiting to upgrade to DSM-7 and rather not go through a manual installation, you feel a little more at ease being that you can upgrade directly to DSM-7 within DSM-6. And if you do the upgrade using this method, let me know how things go for you in the comments down below. Also, if you'd like to learn more about a specific feature in DSM-7 and would like me to create a video on it, let me know by leaving a comment down below as well. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Lastly, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in upgrading to DSM-7. Thanks so much for watching.